morning, good afternoon or good evening and welcome to this edition of the EGU podcast for conscious, awakening and emerging souls. I am Michelle Reinhardt coming to you to inspire and guide your unparalleled success in mindset, energy, business and all things spiritual to help you thrive. Today I find myself in an incredible space being hugely grateful for the ability to focus very deliberately on that which I do want and getting it. Now coming from a space of niggly, consistent, habitual self-sabotage, enormous self-doubt and financial chaos, I promise you, I haven't always felt like this. Far from it. I've made my life's work suited to those that don't want to go through what I went through. I am an abundance activator and what does that mean exactly? I passionately teach people simple and extremely effective mindset and energy transformational techniques to help bring their big, huge, juicy dreams to life for them personally, professionally and spiritually so they can be all they came here to be and then some. You can find out more about me on my site and the links are below. But today I want to use this time to help you understand why the same old patterns may be presenting in your life and how to get off the hamster wheel. Slow down the achingly busy mind and begin the shift into a new reality. Now if that sounds good, take a deep breath with me and turn off your zings and pings for 10 minutes and tune in. Firstly, let's look at where I see many people and the driving force for me behind what I do. And I call it bright, shiny object syndrome. The not enough, not good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, skinny enough, spiritual enough, you name it. These days, all our inboxes are full with subscriptions. The free opt-ins all look fabulous and we just keep getting more. Possibly submerged in this or that other cause, Desperately seeking the answers for more, more clients, more money, better lifestyle. But there is only one thing that will solve all these things and I promise you it is not out there anywhere. No other one single person holds the key to your success other than you. Would you be willing to find out why all these things will never work for you until you do one single thing first? You know our free will is both a blessing and a curse, but just for now, I'd like to encourage you to open up to the expansiveness of all that you can be. Over the next week or so, I'd love to encourage you to take the time to get really, really clear on exactly what and how you want your life to be. Aside from all the stories, the shoulds, the coulds and the woulds, exactly what you do want. Because all the answers that we seek are seeking us. We have the answers within. Most of us don't give ourselves enough space, compassion and quiet time to experience them. No other person can give us or teach us what we're here for. In inverted commas, talking marks, our purpose. When we commit to find out who we really are and why we're here, we allow the so-called limitations and blocks to loosen their hold on us. We give ourselves permission to shine. When we're ready to cut ourselves some slack, Stop the blame and shame game and loosen the ties that keep us small and get real with ourselves. Then the journey begins. In my experience, those of us that fight the inevitable find it a much tougher journey. So today I want to give you a very easy exercise to help you tap into the energy that's uniquely you. In just a few minutes... I would love you to experience the energy that makes you as exclusive to the world as your fingerprint. Please don't do this exercise if you're driving. Find a comfy spot, lying or sitting down. Please have your palms up, ready to receive. 
and the one thing you need to do first and first every time is to breathe. Breathe deeply and completely and allow the prana in the air to reach your soul. Notice where in your body your breath is landing and just be curious and notice that. Give yourself permission to drop in and pay attention to this magnificent vessel that is your body. Now feel the energy behind your next breath. In behind your nose, the prana, as you sit in this present moment observing your breath. Allow a beautiful cord to drop down from your base and anchor softly yet deeply into the core of the earth. Bring with your next breath those beautiful energies back up from the earth and allow them to tingle into your feet and cleanse, clear and release any and all energies that are not of the light as they make their way to your heart. Noticing a beautiful bright beam of light down from the heavens, moving through the clouds and into your crown and softly weaving, so, so softly into your heart and merging with the beautiful earth energy. Know and trust that you were breathed into life and as effortlessly as you breathe to this day, you can choose to receive source energy in light, joy and peace. And as we exhale, we can automatically drop from our field anything that is not of the light. Allow it to be effortless. Breathing in, filling with love, joy and peace. And breathing out, releasing dramas, pain, guilt, shame, blame. Let it go. Breathing in love and joy. Breathing out stress and worries. Connecting in this way is as simple as A, B, C. Always be connected above and below in your center, your heart. From your heart, please ask that all your energies come back to you now. And next, ask all energies not of the light to drop from your field. Sending them home with love. I invite you to come into your highest vibration now. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing into your core, feeling that prana, that vibrational energy that is you. Please ask, what do I need to do or be vibrationally in the world so I can best serve? I will leave you now to ponder this. Relax and allow yourself to become the answer to the question. Your heart knows the way. Your heart has the answers. Remember, my glorious friend, it is your vibration that changes the world. Please join me next week as I take you through energy and vibrational frequencies so we can start shifting some things with you and for you. 
sending huge love into your day and your lives. See you next week. Love from Michelle.